Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be my introduction video for my Drop 10 Before Summer Project Pan. Very excited to be doing this project again this year along with the Fantastic Ladies group on Facebook. Uh, this project was created by Amanda and by Jessica. All the information will be linked down below. Uh, but we did this project last year and the whole concept of this, if you're not aware, is that you are supposed to pick 10 items to drop before summer and you can add the weighting portion which is to lose 10 pounds before summer uh, kind of like an incentive to get ready for that summer bod uh, I'm only doing the uh, makeup portion I did attempt the, the weighing part last year but it didn't go well at all I didn't lose any weight um, well I lost weight because I got really bad food poisoning and I ended up in the hospital but not because I was exercising or doing anything to try to lose the weight so this year I'm only gonna do the makeup and it was really hard for me to pick what items to pick for this project because I have two pretty large um, project pans going on right now and I'm very picky as to what items I pick uh, I like my project pants to be makeup only and I try not to overlap the items on the other with the other projects because I want to make sure that when I do a progress update um, I have progress on all the items so it was kind of challenging for me but I hope you guys uh, find these uh, items interesting and that you guys will enjoy watching me along as I try to use them up so let's just get started the first thing that I'm going to start with is a fragrance I picked this body mist from Victoria's Secret. This is the Angels Only Body Mist. And that is my update right there. I mean, my starting point. I always put like little stars to I so I know when where the product was when I first started. And as you guys can see, I've used up quite a bit of uh, this already. I don't see myself having any trouble using this up in the next three months. Usually a brand new one is takes me about three months to use up. So I'm not worried about this one whatsoever. Then I have two facial sprays, um, but I use them differently. The first one that I have here is from MAC. This is the Fix Plus. Um, and I use this to wet my brushes, to wet my beauty blender. Um, and that is my starting point right there. I have a piece of tape here because I'm trying to do it back to MAC. And I've heard that you can't turn in items that have markings on them. So that's my starting point. Uh, like I said, I don't really use this on my face, but um, on my brushes and my uh, beauty blender so hopefully i can get use out of that like that and for my face i actually picked a face um setting spray this is a smashbox photo finish primer water um i've used a full size of this before and i really don't care for it um i don't really see a difference on my makeup lasting any longer or any less when i don't use this so um, I just want to use it up and hopefully help my um, numbers go down from my makeup inventory. So I think this will be an easy one if I remember to use it. That's another thing. I always have um, trouble using facial sprays because I forget to use them. So that's not good. The next item that I have here is this uh, face powder from e.l.f. You guys can see it's kind of rubbing off. But this is the Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. Um, this is what it looks like right now. Uh, this is only five grams, but I've used it a little bit already and it has a little bit of a dip right here on this side right here. So uh, when I do hit pan, I think I'm going to hit it on this side right here. I don't foresee myself having too much trouble finishing this up. However, I do have um, another powder in another project pan and a powder foundation. So I don't know. It'll probably... I can go through powders very fast, but because I have other powders in other project pens, um, maybe this will take me a little bit longer than usual, but I should be able to finish it. Then I have uh, this product from Becca. This is the Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Moonstone. I finished the one in Opal in my, in my project pen roulette. It was a smaller one, so I decided to add this one. This one is brand new, however. I haven't started it yet. Uh, it still has a sticker. But I shone the light and that is how much product the whole tube has. So good thing it's not filled all the way to the top and I'm starting right here and hopefully I can mix it in with my primer like I did with the other one that I had um, and use it underneath and give me to give me like a nice pretty glow. Um, 
The other one was smaller than this one and it took me about six or seven months maybe to use up, but I wasn't using it every day. Uh, this one has quite a bit more and I only have three months to use it up. So um, I'll probably have to use this every single day just to make sure that I, that I am making progress constantly. And since my time frame is less than on my other, than the other one did, um, I think having that extra pressure that like, oh, I have to finish it within this amount of time, um, I think that'll help me to push me to use this up. But um, it just have, I'm just gonna have to be constant with it. Uh, the other, the next two items are uh, little deluxe size samples, but I'm counting them each as one just because I need, wanna give myself a little bit of a, like a leeway. <laughs> uh, the first one that I have here is the Smashbox uh, Camera Ready BB Cream. This is in the color light medium, deluxe size. I don't think I, this one doesn't have a sticker, but I don't think I've used it maybe once or twice. Um, and unfortunately I can't see how much is in here, even if I try to shine a light. Um, and the other one that I have here is from Urban Decay. This is the All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Foundation. Uh, this is in the color 3.5 and that is my starting point right there. This one, I've, I haven't used it, um, but it only goes up to there. The applicator has a little bit of a doe foot, um, or maybe it's just plastic. Yeah, it's just a plastic spatula. So uh, we'll see how this works on me. If hopefully the match will be okay, and if not, maybe I can mix this together, but each one of those counts as one item separately. Um, the other, the last three things that I have here are lip products, um, just because I'm really trying to work on that um, number for my makeup inventory. Uh, the first one that I have here is just a, an easy one. It's a lip balm from the Yes2 brand in the grapefruit scent. I don't have a lot of, oh, I mean, I, I don't have a lot of progress on this one, and I have a lot of um, products still left, as you guys can see. Um, that's almost kind of like almost the whole tube, but this will be my lip balm that I use whenever um, I get out of the shower, when I do my skincare in the mornings. I always put everything and then a lip balm, so that's what this lip balm will be used as. And the other two lip products that I have here are these two from MAC, and these are basically new when <laughs> you're probably thinking, you're crazy, Rebecca, why would you put two full-size lipsticks? Uh, but let me explain. The first one that I'm gonna talk about is Angel. And I put a little piece of tape here again because I can't mark on the bullets. But that is my starting point right there, that silver line. Um, I have two very pretty neutral colors, uh, lip liners in my A to C project pan. And I think that this lipstick would go well with either or. So I'll be able to use, um, like combine two projects and use them up, use them together at the same time. So uh, that is what Angel is. And I'm gonna give you guys, it's kind of a, a little bit too pink for my skin tone. So I have to use a lip liner, a warmer tone lip liner uh, to make this work a little bit better. So that's that one. And the other one that I have here is in the color Snob. I'll give you guys a swatch. It's much more cooler toned than this one. Makes my teeth look really, really yellow, so I don't like it for my for that reason. Um, I bought this because of Cher Cherish. Uh, she talks about this, oh, she used to talk about this lip um, quite a bit a while back. Um, that is my progress right there. And the way I've been using this, I've used this like twice maybe uh, as a, base for my blush. <laughs> um, I'll put it on my cheeks, I'll blend it out really well, and then I set it with my Lancome blush in Aplum, that one that's in my A to C project pan, because that blush has no pigment. If I use just that blush, um, I'll put it on my face and I'll blend it, and if I'm not careful, I'll blend it all away and end up with nothing. So. Um, I'm kind of having a hard time using up that blush, and I've discovered that using this as a base, um, both colors match really well, this color and the blush color. So using this as a blush base, I'm hoping that I can finish it within the next three months. So time, only time will tell. So hopefully I can get those two lipsticks out um, during the duration of this project. So who knows? And that's it guys, that is my uh, introduction video for my 
drop 10 before summer. I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys stick around to see my progress till the end. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you on my next video.